Hey Postmates drivers, this is your friend Adam online with a few tips I've learned from driving Postmates. So I'm going to go over three things. Number one, um, the reason I'm doing Postmates even though there's only a $50 bonus right now. And then number two, how to avoid shitty customers. Yeah, I know it's you don't have to have anyone in your car like Uber, but you can um, see the trend if you go through your uh, payouts. Um, you can avoid shitty customers. And then uh, number three is uh, pretty simple. Just I'm recommending that people use Waze for navigation rather than use Google Maps. So if you don't know what Waze is, um, they tend to navigate better than Google Maps. They, they've actually given me a lot of shortcuts. All right, but that's just a preference thing. All right, now the real reason I'm doing Postmates, in addition to getting occasional good tips, uh, it's not really worth it for the mileage and um, the minutes. You get 10 cents a minute while you're ordering the food. Um, at least here in 2016 when I got signed on that's what they told me um, and then you get like a dollar something dollar fifteen a mile or whatever while you're driving don't quote me on that um, really I'm in this for the tips the, all my friends that did this said it was better tips than uber and occasionally you get a surge ride like my Panda Express here and I haven't even done that many rides yet but I'm already gonna start spotting trends people who order from burger restaurants like Fat Burger or uh, Steak Shack don't usually leave tips. Actually, you know what, Tender Greens people, they don't leave tips either. Um, so what, what I'm starting to do, and Jack in the Box doesn't leave tips. So uh, prove me wrong. If you're a customer and you wanna throw me a tip, throw me a tip and prove me wrong. But you, when you get uh, custom gourmet restaurants, like, um, like uh, let's see what would be an example here. Um, I guess Uba Tuba might be an example. They, they left me a tip. The Street Tacos restaurant left me a tip. Um, those, you know, you're just gonna have to figure out like what restaurants are gonna be um, patronized more. That means a customer goes there. Uh, what restaurants are gonna be patronized more by, or get patronage from people who are elite, have money to give you tips. Um, maybe they live in like a high upper scale area uh, in your community. Um, so if those people typically order from one certain restaurant, you would want to take those orders and then turn down orders from cheaper restaurants like Jack in the Box or Burger King. Chances are if you're ordering food from Jack in the Box and you're paying for it, you're not too smart <laughs> and uh, you don't have much money to tip. That's just my opinion. I'm probably right about that. And um, I can see my average tip is around three dollars right now. I did a um, did a pickup for a celebrity. I just picked up his mail. He's a producer with J.J. Abrams, and um, he left me a five dollar tip. I won't tell you his name, but uh, he is a Hollywood producer. I picked up his mail from West Hollywood, delivered it to him, and I got a five dollar tip. So that was kind of nice, even though the guy drives a Porsche and is a millionaire. Um, so anyhow, um, not really in this for the delivery money. Um, I do have to make money and I'm trying to get wiser, work smarter, not harder. That's the rule. So um, let's see, Umami Burger, that was a pretty good tip there. Now, I'm only into about 40 deliveries. 7-Eleven is also not good. I had one person say, pick me up some ice cream and pick me up uh, a lemonade tea and if it's not there, cancel the whole thing. So I drove to 7-Eleven, what they wanted wasn't there and we just canceled on it. So anyhow. Uh, that's my little tip for today. Pick high quality restaurants where high quality customers usually order food from. Try to avoid low quality restaurants. Use ways for navigation. And then do this job for, not for the money you're getting on your deliveries, do it for the referral income. That's a, a big thing. I hope you stuck around to hear that. So right now, um, Postmates is only offering $50 for a new person. Only offering $50 for a new person, but offering uh, $150 for the person who refers. So my buddy Josh is getting $150 when I complete my, my 60 uh, deliveries in 30 days. But here's the thing. I would not be eligible to earn $150 for referring you and my other friends if I didn't knock out that 60 deliveries. So you really want to knock out that 60 deliveries and then, hey, if you don't want to do it anymore, just sit back and refer people. Do that. As far as I know, you can do that. And there's no limit on the amount of referral bonuses you can currently earn. So that is a great way to make some extra money. And thanks for watching.